Welcome back to Lock Palm. I should have a day off today, but I booked an extra round. Okay, we'll try. I think just so that I could play with Minnie. Good morning. So I'm back out at Lock Palm, which means the halfway point of the holiday has gone. And I've booked the same caddy, so I've got Minnie again. And she said, you're gonna play the blues this time. You're not playing the whites. And um, there's a big group down from Bangkok going off the first, so we've come off the back. I think I've left that a little bit short. A little bit right? I think right inside, almost straight. Okay, Cap. And a fast one. Well, a four iron this early in the round probably is a bit of a stretch. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, it is a bit of a stretch. Yeah, that's a really bad one. There's a little sign in the other fairway over the water, a little golf cart's left sign, so I'm aiming at that. Well, it's over the water, but it was a bit of a knife. And then I didn't record the next shot. But one thing I've noticed here is the... Wow, look at that turn. Is the 10, 11 and 12 greens are a different yeah. grass. A little bit slower. They are much faster than the others. But it's different about power. And yeah. then it takes me a couple of holes it's to so get hard. used when to you that. Go golf course, golf course, golf course. Yeah. So difficult to get used to. When we return to the normal greens. Now I think I enjoy this hole from the blue tee more than the white. Because I can fade the driver. Yeah, that was sweet. And I think I'm aiming right here, so you know what this is going to do. Downhill. I don't think they cut this one. 
Bit of a rough start this morning. I don't think I'm actually switched on to golf at the moment. I, I don't know why. My, my head is not in it. And um, it's very bloody hot. And golf psychic, your shirt isn't cutting it. It's stuck to my back already, mate. So, uh, right, let's get switched on. Let's start concentrating with what little brain power I've got. Let's see if we can churn out a score. I mean, we've got the front line to come. There's plenty of time to grind out a bunch of pass. Let's do it. Well, I'm not going to push the envelope here. Just going to knock the five wood down between all the bunkers. Leave me a little sand wedge in. Hold the putt at last. <laughs> this green's a little bit slower than yeah. the first green. Yeah. Well, I've still got some aiming issues. I don't think the camera actually helps. Flags front left over the water. I just want to aim a little right of this flag and have a relatively easy putt. Simon. I think I'm having a few problems today. <laughs> Onward, you need taxi. Need taxi. But lagging is one of those things that's in my skill set. I think I should be playing off the whites. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. That's a pretty good shot. There was a bit of anger in that one, David. Wow. Yeah. Angry <laughs> shot. Yeah, I look angry. <laughs> <laughs> So I've just been joined by David who was in the same boat as me and got shoved off the 10th tee. I like that one. How much honey? I think I here. It's around here and it's downhill. Okay. Oh man, it's easy. I might go a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more was... Yeah, that, that was a great putt. I mean, it's, it's going to go past... If you miss, it's going to go past that far, isn't it? See, at Phuket Country Club, it would have stopped there. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're, they're that much difference in speed. Yeah. Then you can never think about it. Yeah. So I got the left side of the, of the pin. Oh, you just missed it though, didn't you? Thank you. 
This, this course is a little tight in places. Uh, it's a fun course. Oh, it is a fun course. It is a fun course. Nice ball. Should be fine. Should be fine. That's okay. Well, David didn't stop for a drink, but I've been joined by Keith now and his Thai girlfriend. Now, it's quite expensive bringing somebody to the golf course. That's a good shot for me right now. I'm not doing that. Because you've got to pay a joiner fee. And in some cases, they insist that you have a caddy and a golf cart. So if you're thinking of taking someone to the golf course, you better phone in advance to find out how much extra it's going to cost you or they're just going to have to Some sit in the clubhouse you while you play your round of golf. Oh. I've done this all day. That's what I've done all day. I got one birdie and that's it. It's gone. Make it. more, 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 more. Yep, wow. made it. Nice shot. You look angry. It was never in doubt. Never in no, doubt. I, I, I what, it really was. Oh, go. 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 Okay. Wow, really nice. A little bit short. That's it. Well, this is what into the grain and uphill looks like. Oh, and you just can't get it there. I can't line. believe that at all. Yeah, no, it's just right into the and then the pup for the bird. Oh, just well, that there. just didn't come down. Now something very strange happened after this hole. So I'm just going to talk over the hole. So we get to the next tee and I went and uh, had a quick laser. I said to Minnie, nine iron and my umbrella, because it was getting very, very hot. And uh, there was no umbrella. I said, where's my umbrella? And she pointed at the Thai girlfriend. She hasn't got it here. But she'd gone to my golf cart and helped herself to my umbrella. I said, cheeky bitch. I'm not going to tell you what Minnie said because caddies are not supposed to swear but I think she'd caddied for some Australians at some point because she said something considerably worse than me I said just get it back when you can and we eventually got it back at the green of the par 5 that comes after the, the par 3 that you're about to see but never seen anything like that before somebody just going in your golf cart and pinching your umbrella so there's a, a little bit of anger over that par 3 and the par 5. And then Keith is a mile through the green. He's over hit his chip. 
and he's done that for a two. That was in the water if it had missed. So some angry putting coming up because I was desperate for my umbrella right here. I was baked. Never apologise for golf giving you something back. <laughs> it takes away all the time. How far it? was that going past if it didn't hit it? Uh, to the edge of the green. Oh God. Outside right, isn't it? It's going to be up and written to low down. Okay. Well, I think this is another green that's made of a different grass because that was just lightning and it shouldn't have been lightning. It was uphill and into the grain. So this does happen. I've seen this before on, an, on another golf course where four or five greens are a different grass. And that's usually because they've had a problem and they've had to dig up four or five greens and start from scratch. Remember that when he said that on the news media? Oh yeah. Oh man, he got in so much trouble for that. Good ball. That's a piece of test. It's the best thing to do. It's a cake. Nice, go, 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 oh. go, go. Okay. That stopped quicker than I thought it would. Ta-da! Yeah, Easy game, huh, Simon? It's taken me a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got you. <laughs> okay. Not enough. Come on, come on. Not enough. Nice fight. There you go, Simon. 
Yok ya.